Ah! All right guys, Papa Pepper back again. Um, probably not gonna be the most useful for all of you out there, but seriously, this thing is awesome. Periodically, we'll walk the creeks around here. You find a bunch of interesting stuff. Sometimes you'll find fossils. Uh, people find Indian arrowheads, uh, Native American arrowheads, and a variety of things. You see creatures, water snakes, stuff like that, frogs. But uh, one thing we find is a lot of bones. And a cool thing about the bones is we'll take them home sometimes, add them to our soil using a variety of methods, but you can just kind of crush them up with uh, with rock and take them. Let me show you this one quick. You know. Oh, like this is a big bone. There's a lot of good crumbly bone marrow in the middle here, and that can all get used to build up the soil. Yeah, I mean, just coming out right there, just with my finger. But anyway, I found this one, and a while ago I was at a friend's house, and he had one of these. It's just a, I think it's a rib from, from a cow. And it said, you know, Montana back scratcher, and he had it at his house. And I thought, oh, that's kind of interesting, that's kind of neat. But uh, I was out here cleaning up my garden the other day before I got killed, and I'm like, you know what? Wow, this is like the best. Oh, the best back scratcher actually I've ever had. Um, it's got a little bit more of a bend to it than the normal, you know, little bamboo hand with a claw that commonly gets sold different places. But I forget how good it was just to be able to scratch your own back sometimes. All those hard to reach places, uh, you can really do a pretty good job. So, not sure if any of you guys butcher your own cows, but you may want to consider, you know, maybe making some bone broth, taking them after, you know, one boil down or something, and using them, saving them. Man, I mean, besides just guard, garden, you know, building up the soil, this is really cool, really good. I really, really appreciate this, so. I don't know, I figured I'd show it off because this is hands down the best, you know, natural um, back scratch I ever found. And if you ever get bored with it, you know, and don't want it anymore, look at that. The squirrels or rabbits or other things will use it to get calcium in the winter too. So, I don't know, I've really, like, seriously been enjoying this a lot the past three days. And one of the things about my itches, like, I'll ask my wife, hey, I got a scratch over here. And she'll start itching, but then it's like it'll just kind of keep moving. I'm like, no, down to the left, you know, so I gotta chase them sometimes until I can actually finish getting rid of an itch. So it makes it easier because I'm in complete control with a tool like this. All right guys, pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Papa out.